Hi and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week we're back on uh, looking at my attempt to build um, Dolgok by uh, destroying the Batman and Friends, uh, Batman, yeah, Thomas and Friends, um, Reneus model. Um, so doesn't look like there's much different to last time, um, but I've done two things. I've not had huge amounts of time, but I have done two things. So firstly, all these parts have now had a coat, well, okay, not the chassis. These parts have all had a coat of uh, varnish. Uh, specifically, they've had some of this. Um, so this is the my last remaining can uh, of Tester's Dull Coat. Um, it's almost empty. I think this is probably the last model, unfortunately, I'm going to get to use this. Um, it seems that it's no longer... I don't know if it's no longer made or no longer available for import into this country. There's all sorts of issues with what's in it, it being a, um, a lacquer. Um, but it is one of the best um kind of matte coats um i've ever i've ever come across and everybody everybody always raved about it um i need to find a, another alternative given that i can't get any more of this so if anybody does have any suggestions uh, then please do um, leave me a comment um and with your suggestions as what i should use instead of this i want something if i can that's in a in a an aerosol can um so that I can use it easily without having to put varnish through the, the airbrush, which I always find an absolute nightmare to try and, uh, and tidy up. Um, but it gives the it gives the most lovely uh, matte coat. Um, so that's what I've done. So um, you can see it's worked really nicely on the foot plate. Um, so it's much kind of duller than it was before. Um, a lot less shiny. It still reflects the light, but it's not um, it's not bright and gloss in any in any sense. Um, so I've done that on all the parts, um, including the loco, which again has kind of toned down some of the some of the um, the colour. Um, I did think about doing another weathering pass, but having compared it to uh, my model of um, Tally Lynn, I think it's quite dark already. Um, there's plenty of kind of staining and stuff, and obviously it'll get a bit more when I do um, the final weathering pass with weathering powders and stuff. So I think for now I'm quite happy with how it's how it's looking. Um, so that's all those parts, so, which means I can essentially now um, assemble everything because I will do the final um, powders and things with the whole model assembled so that everything kind of comes together nicely. Uh, but the other thing I've done is I've, I've actually added some paint to uh, the chassis block. Now, it's not necessarily so obvious yet. Uh, this is the side I've not done. I thought I'd show you that first. If I do that, um, you can see the light reflecting off the whole block and that's because this is painted. I mean, you can see it's um, it's it's metal, but you can see it's been painted black, but it's really, really shiny. Um, so if the model gets light under it um, or you look at it in the right in the right light, um, this this block, which is not exactly um, prototypical, um, shines back at you quite brightly. Um, so what I've done is I've added some paint on this side. Um, and as you can see now, um, when I do that, I do that with the light, obviously this top bit here hasn't been painted, but I've painted all this bottom bit. So basically I've tried to paint all the bits that you'd be able to see once the model's reassembled. So obviously this bit is hidden inside the cap, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. Um, but as you can see, that stops an awful lot of the reflected light. Um, <clears throat> and it's not just um, black paint, because even if you think about it, even these black paints reflect, um, I mean, if I tip this in the light, you can see it's reflecting, still reflecting an awful lot of light, even though it's had matte black paint um, and then the tester's dull coat over it, it still ref reflects an awful lot more light um, than this is reflecting. So this is done with this um, Stuart Simple Black 2.0. Um, I think he's onto like black 4.0 now, but as you can see, I bought a fairly large tube of this stuff um, and for the modeling I do this thing is going to last me last me forever um, but it's meant to be like the blackest of black paints um, and as you can see in the, the model that um, we just looked at it really does um, stop a lot of the reflective um, lights now I'm, I have no idea how it does that um, and you have to be fairly careful you have to apply it nicely nicely so that um, Obviously, you don't want too many brush strokes and things where the light could could bounce differently. Um, it would be great to apply it on other areas of the model and stuff, potentially. Um, but especially things like under here, and I might do a little bit. The problem is that obviously 
if you put this on and then spray it with a varnish it completely ruins the effect because what the light gets reflected off the varnish coat um, so you can't you can't really protect it with a varnish coat now fortunately underneath the model here is not going to get much in the way of handling um, and hopefully won't pick up you know won't get scuffed about too much um, obviously you can see I've not gone behind I've not taken the wheels off and gone behind the wheels so you can see there's a little light coming behind the wheels uh, mostly because obviously it would rub it potentially rub anyway um, so it's just about doing the best I can to kind of stop all that kind of stray bouncing of bouncing of light but if you've not seen this before then I think it's um, it, it, it's well worth it as I say I don't know this was quite expensive for what it is um, but as I say it works it works really really well um, and this this tube I mean I've hardly used any of this will last me pretty much forever until it dries up I would think um, so yeah go have a look at Stuart, Stuart Semple um, if I can remember I will try and put a link in the description if I can find one um, and it, as I say I've I've no no skin in the game here. I don't get money for recommending it. Um, I just think it, it, for for what it is, it, it works really well for us. I mean, he uses it. I've, I saw a video recently. I think as I say, which is why I think it's there's now four point zero. Um, he was doing uh, using it to paint uh, black ma uh, masks black for Halloween, and then putting kind of really bright um, fluorescent lines and and stitches and things on them. Um, and then obviously when you turn out the lights, there's absolutely no reflection off the black mask. Um, so you're just seeing the the fluorescent lines and stuff that were painted on. Um, obviously that would take up an awful lot more paint. Uh, but for the models like this, I think it's great for filling in kind of, you know, painting into holes to the top of a chimney. So it's really dark. Um, or as I say, the underneath of a, of a model where you kind of want to hide away what's there so that when the model's on the track... Um, it looks dark underneath and you don't want to be able to see the actual kind of chassis of the model that isn't necessarily um, as accurate as all the as all the bodywork uh, would be because of just the way we have to build these uh, these things so anyway that's <clears throat> that's where we are um, so next step will be to assemble this and then the weathering powders um, and then that will be done so I think this will definitely be the last uh, the last video before we're before we're totally finished uh, and we can have a look at the the final model as i say i've done very little this week other than that i mean partly it was uh, partly i had to find this i struggled to find where i put my last can um, i'm sure i had another another unopened can which i can't find which is frustrating um but also the weather i spray outside and the weather's been rubbish and, and work's been um there's been lots of work um so hopefully i'll get a bit more time over the weekend and uh and next week to move this to move this on a bit further but i'm really happy with the way it's coming together um and as I say, finishing this off shouldn't take too long now. So, uh, yeah, hopefully um, next week's video might be it finished. Fingers crossed. Uh, but thanks for watching. Bye.